that hadn't have been sealed where the cables go in the van there'd have been a leak in the van though with that but i think we've got an issue with this i give up i honestly do right welcome back for another video today's job's gonna be well i've got two jobs actually first one is this scan strut dual cable seal this one's for the solar version and basically as you can see in this picture now i'll stick up you'll see that the solar is horrible i just hate that connect i hate that type of um seal i mean it serves its purpose and it does its job but it just looks ugly so i'm whipping that off getting rid of it and as you can, i'm going through the band getting rid of all the white seal and shite as well depend how the um mc4 connectors if i can dismantle the ends of them then push the cables through the gland happy days if not then i'm gonna have to cut them off i've got some spare ones in the garage and that which i'll, I'll mount on and i've also got the scan stroke cable seal which is a tiny one this is like does up to between two mil and six mil and it, you can see the profile it's dead did it and the reason why i've got that is when i did the awning right i'm going to put some lights on it now i was going to buy the fiamma ones right but they want like 80 90 quid for a basic it's just an led strip on a piece of wire you don't get nothing else with it and you probably get the kit you know the lens covers with it as well and i just thought it's quite expensive that for some leds now i had these which are in the cupboard from ages ago and i was going to use them on my old van but i, ne I never got into using it not too sure what these are going to turn out like these are usb versions so they're only five volts so they're not going to be massively bright but i suppose for a night light outside it's you know it's going to be ample enough so we're going to have to wire a usb system into it which what i'll do i've got a usb plug here now and this is a usb c and a usb a or b whichever one you get the drift normal what goes in and i'm going to wire that into my electrical cupboard so that gives me an option then of charging stuff on usb stuff because i've not got the only usb c stuff i've got in this van is in the front all the other stuff's all like standard usb plugs basically which are them things the led strip it's a bit of a weird one this one it's, it's not a tape well it is a tape but it's not it's fully waterproof but it's in like a rubber sheathing problem is i think the gap on the fiamma on is 10 mil and that comes in about five or six mil wide because it doesn't actually go in sideways it actually goes in stood up like that the idea of this one was it was designed so you can make shapes out of it and stuff like that but i'm gonna try it anyway because it's got a cool feature where you can change the colors of it so you don't just have to have white now we've got halloween event coming up in whitby coming up soon i'm hoping to get this video out before that but you never know and it'd be quite cool bit because you could dress up vans and stuff you know get part of the theme and the party and stuff like that and i'm gonna basically just change color light so i can have it all orange outside that's the effect childish maybe but i suppose when you're in fancy dress it's a good laugh in it so that's the plans today anyways so we're gonna get the the old ladders out now get on that roof we'll get the awning whacked out and then we'll get on the roof and see what that's all about before the bad rain comes in well, this is what we're gonna replace it now you see there's just it's just manky in it, horrible. And you go for a low profile, it looks a lot better. So what I'm gonna have to do is pop this panel up off here. I think I'll just undo that one and that one. Get the cables out and then we'll see what these connectors are like. See if we can split these up. Because obviously we're gonna have to force them through that thing. So these have to squeeze through there. If we can get these ends off, they are just crimped. So we could be onto a winner here, Jones. But I'll be able to feed that through now and then just put that connector back on. So I won't need to renew these. One thing I best do as well is take a picture of which one was what. Oh, Christ, there's some shit on this. Do you know what? One thing I've never understood, right, is why we always fit these this way so the wind hits it that side. You'd think that'd be the wind deflector side that way, wouldn't you? So you'd think you'd have it reverse round, wouldn't you? Or you're dynamic, innit? That way you're forcing water into the bloody unit. Right, let's see. We can pull. Just the shit these, honestly. That, right. You can see where the sh water's going inside. Jesus. Look at that. If that hadn't been sealed where the cables go in the van, there'd have been a leak in the van though with that. Because that, the water's actually gone through the outside sealer on it. This could actually be a problem though because the way this has been drilled in, rather than being through one hole, they've actually gone two separate holes. So what I may do with this one is enlarge this side and then use that for my gland. You know, the little gland I've got. If I can get that cable through there. Need to get the egg blade out. How much crap we can get off? Brake cleaner. Absolutely brilliant for getting this stuff off. Do a little soap on top here. And just agitate it into it. You see, that just melts it off. Leaves minimum damage to paint. That's no, just a blunt. Um, you've been all scraper, but it's brilliant because it doesn't scratch paint. So these have been cleaned off now, and the issue I've got is the way the previous guys fitted this solar. It's drilled two bloody holes, separate holes, and run the wires, but they're stuck inside and they're bonded inside. So it's not as if I can just pop that wire out and then drill another hole in and just push it back in again because it's it's a bit of a nightmare to get inside the, the actual unit. So my idea of thinking was because I've got the two glands here, that one was going to be for the 
LED for the awning to come through and that one's going to be the solar. What I might do is, depending on where the hole lines up on that, see that goes straight to the centre, is if we can get that in on that cable and I'm wondering whether that will squeeze down the side of it. So then what I can do is, the solar wire can go through that one because it's 6mm and then this solar wire can go through this one and then the LED can come through that section. So I need to blank that one for the minute because look over there that is black as anything so we need to get a shifty on it's always something it's never straightforward again is it jones this thing is absolutely tiny I'll tell you what it's a good job i actually ordered this otherwise it would have been buggered brolly's out right so even this comes with like a rubber seal around it i always just put a little bit of thicker in uh in just in the screws really just for doubling up a bit just where the screws go into the bodywork it's got a bit of shite folded in there you have it that's the little one done solid as a rock and it's perfectly sealed i've obviously put a bit of sicker on it as well just for make sure it's you know double strength but they look tidy as anything them when they're done they? and that, then i'll just go to the panels right let's get this little shit squeezed in there what i'm going to do with this one as well is drill another little hole here ready for the awning light so i'll wait for that cable to turn up now for that other hole i'll get this awning out and we'll have a look to see where we can put this bloody um led strip so on these awnings right you've got two channels you got one here which I think that's where the normal Fiamma LEDs go into. And you've also got one on the back edge here as well. So you could probably get one in that, which will probably go for the brighter light at a future date. And then this one, I'll try see where this sits in, in here. But it looks like this might be a bit too tall. Right, I've not put it in for all the way. I'm just going to test that now. So I'll just try it. As you can see, it only lights on the back edge. So it's that edge what lights up. So on there, I think we're going to struggle with that because we're losing a lot of light. I'm going to stick these little plastic clips on what that sits into and just mount them on there going along and then what i'll do i'll hot glue these in if i like them right so she's stuck in apart from that one definitely need some hot glue on that that's what it looked like when it's in the housing anyway so then what i'll do is cut that end off which is here and then i've got some uh, three core wire coming just wait for that to turn up now and then what i'll do is i'll rejoin that back in the van so it's just a better connection on there isn't it really and then the plan is so above here there's a ridge under where my finger is and i'm going to see if i can get the cable in that so the cable will drill up into there run it along here on the back arm along the top that one's got a ridge in as well and then hopefully through, through there and then pop it through the back of the bot and then wire it to that gland that's the plan anyway see if it closes just fits just nicely under there so you can actually use this as a light on it on its own really don't think it's going to be too bright because it's just a novelty bloody um, LED. It's full of waterproof light, but it gives me an option then if, I, if it's shite, I can either fit one underneath the next row, which is just inside there, or just basically take that out and just rewire the other one in. Might as well use it while I've got it, aren't I? And it gives me some funky disco lads. Come on, Andrew, where's this bloody wire? Right, cable's just turned up now. R5. We've been waiting for that all day. So we're going to chase this cable up now through the hole, through the back of the unit, through the roof, and then all the way along into our lucky box. Just stuck in now the USB C and um, USB A B, whatever they call them. And uh, that's powered and wired in now, so that's ready for it. Going to have a fish with this cable now. Huh? Right, that's that cable fish through now. It's gone nice about tits here, but I need to get this, this bit done first before I do the awning because it's forecast bad weather. Oh, fuck. I don't forgot to put it through that as well. Dickhead. There we have it. A lot tidier then. As you can see, it's better profile there. Like I said, I had to mix and match up the soil because you know, you know you could do it like that. What I'm going to do is it's these little scratches here. The next step now is this cable here, which is going to be for the light. Let's try and find a way whether we drill into this and then push that cable through so we can get to the control arms on it. So we'll get this all in and we'll have a look. E is going dark now, lad. So I've done this cable now, just run that through into the bracket piece here and just use one of the pickup holes here to come out of and then I'm going to feed it into the houses. So that wire now, just going through the bottom there, through it all into the base of finger, I don't know if you can see because it's a bloody light. And then it just pops out in here. So let's try and work out where I'm going to put this without obstructing. Right, so what I've done there now, you see wire coming through. I've just typed it temporarily. Now I'm going to change them for clear ones because obviously black stands out a mile. But just come down here now with it, jumped over the top of that and then I've just drilled through the bottom of that one there and then I'm going to cut them two wires up and then what I'm going to do is just snip all them off and then see if that will go back into the housing hopefully it should do like it shouldn't catch but we'll give it a test anyway well so far so good looks like it's shut right so before I put this wire all the way through there now I'm going to, just going to do a test obviously that's redundant that one and then we're going to plug this into the disconnector block here and then that bit then plugs in 
up here. So we give that power a look outside. And we've got nothing. Ooh, where's my remote? Well, they're on, but I think we've got an issue with this. We've got a dead one there. We're dead before. Bloody Chinese, bloody LEDs. Absolutely shite. I think we might be getting a strip for this one, lad. So I think we'll go back to plan B, buy a proper tape and just stick that in, cut that off and then redo that one. At least the scan's struck. Maybe we're going to take van anyway and all the wiring's in the van. But honestly, you do me heading. Look at them. One dead here and they're flicking away. The bollocks off. They can't even change a piss in colour. Oh, look, orange. The fucking disco effect. Yeah, I give up. Tech two on these bloody LEDs. So I've got another set here. This one is a tape set because that one, shite. Ripped straight off. Absolute rubbish. This one is it's a waterproof one. IPC7, so it's got like a rubber glaze over it. IBG again. And basically, this is um, a sticky side one, so we'll stick that on the top there. But before I do that, me awning, right? I've got this little thing here, graft. And it's supposed to be suction pad for your awning legs. You should have painted ground. So I'm going to see what it's like, and then these will stick. I think. I think we'll get one on there. First size leg, can't they? And then your awning leg goes into it. So let me just see where my awning leg goes up to. And then it should fit this one here. Voila. Chunky unit, and that just clips into there. I think we release it, just open that. You can see the hole inside it where it clips onto this catch here. And then earth M1. So I've tossed up between either on bottom corner there or up top. I think I'd rather it down here, to be honest with you. It might be better on bodywork actually in case it, you get a good bit of wind, it might pop that panel off. So it's a little bit cockeyed there because I've just offset it on that panel there. So just undo this a little touch. Spin it round to it. About right, there it is. Let's have a look at solid. There we have it. They are mint them. And basically you just put your iron up there and it's quite solid that now. That is rock hard. On Amazon, I'll stick a link in the description. Random little bits, innit? Right, let's get these lights on there. So I've got this as well, which is a little controller. So slightly different to what I was gonna do with the other one where I was just gonna plug it in the USB. This one has a separate 12 volt input and that, and then it's got your red, green, blue outputs on here. So I think that's quite a neater controller unit on that one. And then we have a control panel, so you can change the colors on it. I've not tested this yet, so I don't know if this is gonna work or not, but I'm gonna put it on a switch anyway, just in case. I can just flick it on and off, but we'll see how this goes on your own. It was a bit tired in the other one. So this strip is just a case of chopping this end off and then connect up the four wires to the wire I run through. That's why I ran a four core originally on the awning. So we'll get them chopped off, get that connected up, sealed in, and we'll see if that works. And they're not good anymore. What I've done here is I've just wired this in now temporary. Voltage plus, black wire, red, green and blue as the picture say on there and then 12 volt coming out here. So I'll just temporarily put these into a block here now just to test it. We'll get a fuse. So I'll add this in here and then we'll see. Oh, there we have. Oh, hey, hey, we've got lights. I don't know if these are still like fucking candles again. We'll give it a whirl. So let's pull our tab out of here, see if this box works. All right, power off, get in. Power on. Colours, let's have a look. Can you give me a white option? Look at that, look at that. There's my Halloween colours anyway. That'll do. And I think that's about as bright as we're gonna go. It looks like all the LEDs are working. But I'm glad the controller works anyway. That's a bonus. So we'll stick these candles on now. That rain again. Honestly, I'm like a magnet me. If I do a job right, it hisses down every time, guaranteed. Anyway, let's get this wired up and then we'll get these wazzed in. It's all wired up now. I'm just gonna put a blob of glue on here, hot glue. Just to keep them cables in there tight. And then we're just gonna get this. Oh, it's got black like pissing foil to it, this shit, innit? So on this strip here, you'll see these copper bits here, the joints, and they are the cut marks. So you can actually cut it there. That's where I put box in there. I put it upside down because it's shorter run for these and I'm not pissed about with that. I'm not OCD, so I'm not too bothered. I think I need to manage all this and change all this design now. Because it's getting a bit busy in there and a bit untidy. So that's on, the LEDs on. So all we need to do now is try this controller. See if you come on. Oh, she's on, lad. Off, on. Beautiful. Like I say, it's daytime now, so you're not going to see much on that, but you get the effect of it. Got a couple more to put on here now. Got these ones, right? Got an LED map today. These are a blue LED. So this is going to go under where the Victron stuff is. Just excuse the mess of the van. That's going to go under there because it's dark as anything. Because as somebody said, if you've got the Victron stuff, people display it like a chaff. So we'll get them on now. Right, let's see what these lights look like now. 
Night time, reach to a big light out. Northerners would know what that means. Are you ready? <laughs> We've got lights. Look at that bad boy. Right, we're doing an update on these LEDs and it wasn't good. The last set I fitted, what a bag of shite. I've not even used them. Went to MBT, right? I thought, man, got some outside lights, put some funky colours on and all that stuff. Went to turn them on, nothing, dead. Oh. Can Jones just dodge your wiring again, this? Checked all wiring and that, no wrong with it. Checked all joints, fine. LE strip, check that. If you see on it, I don't know if it shows up on camera, we've got like a coppering colour on some of the strip going along it. You can see that. And basically what's happened is, the bloody water's got under the strip. A bit loose of it. When they tell you it's IP67 waterproof, talking fucking shite. You didn't even get a day out of them. So we're back on Mark 3 now. Next set of bastard LED lights. So don't buy them, don't buy the first set. And this third set, Christ, I hope to God these work, otherwise that's me done. LEDs will be getting ripped out, and bastard on them again, ripped out and all. Anyway, excuse me, French. Right, so I've got Mark 3, like I said. I don't think these ones are Chinese. I think they might be English. English made, I think, I hope. Three year warranty, Dell Tex. Now, I've gone for RGB again, now for colouring. Worst case now, he's gonna have to buy a fucking bubble wrap bastard white ones and see how they go. So, Stu, yeah, he's watching. Don't take it piss out of my joints now. They're gonna be done proper this time. Then I've got some stick me over these bloody Chinese LEDs. Right, let's get Mark 3 done. And fingers crossed, third time, they work. And I'm not gonna video these being installed because you've seen it three times now and you must be bored to death with them. Got the next one in. I've also put a channel on here as well. It's, you know, small channel, so it looks a lot better that now. What I've done up here is, where we've collected the wires because a lot of people are taking a piss we're actually fitted now in a gel block no doubt sparkies will pull shit out of that somehow but makes it a bit more waterproof than what it was what i've done in here changed the control now the igb controller so it's got proper connections on it should work better but we've got a different remote so we're on this little dumpy thing so what i'm going to do is switch it on you ready oh. <laughs> see how long these buggers work might be flickering on camera boy this is quite solid that and you've also got the option of different colors don't know how to get white on light but oh there she goes bit of white so i'm hoping that's quite bright at week at night that not gonna lie these leds have me right off if these fail in the next couple of days i give up i honestly do i'll end up mounting in fact i might be pinching these off here because the shit out is making us all redundant that's another story Anyway, let's carry on with the rest of the shite now. So, next job is, in my Victron setup here, there's no lights. So what I've done is I've just run, I already put a garage wire here. And that was running the house LED lights. When you open the doors, all the lights come on and that. Basically, I've just tapped into that. And I'm going to put in these blue LEDs in. So I'm going to have one at the top here. And then one on top of that one there. And I'll wire them to it. So when you open the doors and that, it lights all this up. It just looks nice. Some say it's chabby, but you know, you got, if you've got the stuff, you might as well just shove it off, haven't you, really? Put some nice lights in it. So I'll bother it our LEDs wired in. So what will these look like now? So on the switch. Oh, blue, blue, blue. Another little job ticked off the list. Right, I think on that one now we're done for LEDs for a bit. I've got locker lights that do the two back lockers, which you can't see on there, but up there. That locker light and that locker light. The wires are in the cupboards for them, but I've not picked no LEDs. I've not, to be honest with you, I'm not too sure whether I'm going to do a reading light at the bottom of them or do an LED above the top with a switch on. So, see how that goes on. Great. Cheers for watching anyway. See you all next time. Later.